My name is Sao Xiong. I work for SP Group, formerly known as Singapore Power. I lead a team of software engineers and also hardware engineers to develop new digital solutions for Singapore Power as well as Singapore in general. I started off completely new when I first started uh, my university course. I did computer engineering in uh, Nanyang Technological University, NTU. That sort of gave me a, a grounding in uh, writing software, writing programs. But I really picked up the first programming language that I seriously wrote in, which is Java, on my own. So I picked it up from, uh, from blogs, from websites, from documentation on the website, and uh, really from simply hacking away and writing code. Uh, programming is really a, uh, it's something that you can't just learn and then uh, as a theory you have to put it, put everything in practice. So I would say the main thing is really practice. You, off, you just need to keep on programming and you keep on to writing software and that's how you improve. Because uh, once you stop basically all your thought processes, all the uh, mental connections that you have previously, they will slowly fade away and uh, you'll be less efficient as a programmer. So I would say just keep programming. Uh, I think there is always a tendency with all the information that's available to just copy from wherever that you can find code and then you try to make it work and then uh, use that as a basis of, of what you do. Uh, that is the dangerous part. I think that's the tricky part because it's so easy to just take from open source code from somewhere, from Stack Overflow or wherever it is, and uh, just make it run, and make it work without really understanding it. I think that's, that's the difficult part uh, because you really do need to understand what you're doing and start from ground up in order to really become an effective programmer. So if you, if you don't do that and you just copy blindly and just paste it, then you become what I call a uh, cargo cult programmer. Basically, you, you just monkey see, monkey do, and then that will be hugely dangerous. I think it's an inclination. I would neither recommend nor discourage anyone from, from going into this field. I think programming, it's a, for me, it's a passion. It's, a, it's both a career as well as a passion as well as a hobby. So that's what I do all the time. But not everybody is like me. So I acknowledge that even people who work on it as a professional, not necessarily that professional would actually use that uh, as his pastime. Right? You will not actually code in his pastime. So for me, I would ni neither necessarily encourage nor discourage. However, the world is moving more towards software and, and beyond. So uh, it is definitely a good career choice. But of course, as a career, you will also want to, to choose a career where you are that you are interested in, that you have passion for, besides just being a, a good career choice. So I wouldn't recommend somebody who say uh, very passionate about music to say, let's take up programming because you know that has a very good career uh, path for you. I would rather recommend him say, pick up music, go where the passion flows, and, and see what comes out of it. I happen to think it is pretty important. I think uh, learning the basics, as I, as I mentioned earlier on, is, is very important. If you don't know the basics, it becomes harder to, to progress. A college education basically paves the way for you uh, by teaching you the basics and the fundamentals as you go up uh, the ladder and learn more advanced uh, topics, uh, more uh, up-to-date topics. Nonetheless, you, you do need to have a certain level of uh, education that you know like the basic uh, software algorithm, which is taught in computer science. Uh, even down to say, if you started to develop games, you need to know the laws of physics. Then you need to have a, a proper education to you know the, the, the laws of physics, for example. Otherwise, yes, you can still achieve a lot of these things. However, it will take you a longer time and you'll struggle a lot harder. So I, I still think a college education is, is necessary. I think the mindset is important because the mindset to explore, the mindset to try out different things, different methods, different ways of achieving the same problem, and even the, the mindset of persistence. Because every programmer will face bugs. No matter how good you are, you will encounter a bug. And sometimes you will encounter inexplicable bugs that you introduce. You know it's your fault, but you don't know where it is. So the 
ability and the mindset of persistence that you just continue even though it is difficult or it is uh, uh, very tedious. I think that's, that's important. Uh, just as important as uh, being creative and trying to find the answers in a, a slightly unorthodox way to actually get the answers. I think that's important as well. But I, I don't see any particular skill that you actually need. Uh, it, it can, skills are learned. Whereas mindsets are probably something that you need to be trained to do to, to over time. Uh, I would say trust in your own abilities to, to deliver, but at the same time, a healthy uh, understanding of your own weaknesses as well, right? Understanding of uh, your own capabilities that sometimes you just don't have the skill or cap capability. I am not a female programmer, so it is hard for me to put myself in the mindset of a female programmer. I would su suppose that if I were a female programmer, I wouldn't want to be treated any differently. I don't want to be treated either as a male nor or a female programmer. I want to be treated as a programmer. I don't want to be treated the same way that uh, for everything other than the, the obvious ones, right? Um, at the same time, I don't want to work in an environment where it is naturally assumed that everyone will be male or everyone will be a particular ethnicity or a, a of a particular uh, dietary habit or so on and so forth. So I think diversity is important and acknowledgement of the diversity, but at the same time, uh, acceptance of the role and the skills that you're supposed to deliver uh, to be equal among the, the different people who are involved in that project.